Was ist Heilung? Meine Kollegen, ich darf diese zentrale und von der Psychoanalyse nicht definierte Frage in den Raum stellen und weiterfragen, wie gelingt Heilung? Unser technisches Seminar gibt mir die Möglichkeit, ganz offen mit Ihnen zu sprechen und ich behaupte, wir geben uns zu früh zufrieden. Wir sagen geheilt, wenn das Symptom scheinbar verschwunden ist, aber wir werden getäuscht durch gefälliges Verhalten der Patienten. Sie antworten bloß, was wir hören wollen. Aber die Psychoanalyse kommt nicht weiter, wenn wir nur frei assoziieren. So wie es eine Physiologie des normalen Körpers gibt, obwohl nicht zwei Menschen körperlich gleich gebaut sind, so gibt es auch im Seelischen eine zweckentsprechende Grundstruktur. Ich habe folglich die Funktion des Orgasmus als zentrales Moment gewählt, auch weil ich bei all meinen Patienten eine genitale Störung festgestellt habe. Meine Herren, es kann für uns keine Tabus geben und wir dürfen keine Angst vor den gesellschaftlichen Konsequenzen unserer Arbeit haben. Sie wähnen sich im Irrtum. Ich gebe Ihnen ein Beispiel. Eine ehemalige Patientin wurde von zwei Kollegen als geheilt entlassen, ja sogar auf ihre Sexuallebens bewundert. Die Frau kam zu mir, weil sie sich trotzdem krank fühlte. Hier ihre eigenen Worte. Sie haben gleich meine falsche Freundlichkeit erkannt, entdeckt, dass ich eine falsche Ja-Sagerin bin und dass ich meine lebhafte Erotik bloß als Abwehr gegen Aggression und Depression benutze. Sie haben mich aber als all das akzeptiert und nur meine Eitelkeit und Falschheit erkämpft. Meine Kollegen, wir müssen mit dem Patienten in all seiner Erscheinung arbeiten. Worte können lügen, der Ausdruck lügt nie. Where's your head? I forgot it. How long do I have to fire in this direction? Not fire. Withdraw. <laughs> They are ready. We can begin. We have to turn to face north, northwest. We are withdrawing the bad EOR and we are stimulating the moribund atmosphere. That way we help the air so it can regenerate, regenerate itself. Right. I understand. Then the flowers will grow. There's no need to be afraid. Have you had a look outside? Wow, all those stars. Shooting star. I saw a shooting star. Now you can make a wish. Sleep well.
you tell me about the summons? You really should have put in an appearance this time. What? They convicted you. We need a lawyer. I will defend myself. You must accept help. I know what's good for me. You'll have to go ahead. I have to finish this. The FDA clearly proved that these boxes have no medical effect at all and cannot heal in any way. Dr. Reich has been renting out these boxes despite a court order expressly forbidding him to do so. Clearly an infringement of the law. And his failure to comply with this law shows that he has no respect for our country. And it was the same back in Europe. A sex guru, a doctor who claims to perform miracles. A man who has written books about the function of the orgasm and sexual freedom. This is a man who must be considered a threat to our society. And his discovery, this organ energy, this is sheer nonsense. Its existence cannot be proven. It is the fantasy of a charlatan. I am not a legal expert, but I know you are not supposed to drive on the wrong side of the road. And I think in my case, the trial itself has smothered the truth. It is impossible for anyone, the court or even the politically motivated, to discern which conclusions are drawn from true scientific research and which are not. And if this continues, any future quests for truth will go to the dogs. If I May put it like that. Uh, Your Honor, if the defendant wants to make a speech, I think he should just rent a town hall. If he has something to say to the court, I suggest he address himself to the I court. I think turning away from the court was a sort of involuntary movement. Thank you. I would now like to call the public prosecutor, Mr. Hills, to the witness stand. Oh, objection, Your Honor. You need a written application for that? Which Dr. Reich has done in the proper manner. Kindly take the stand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. You may question the witness, Dr. Reich. Thank you. Mr. Hills, how long have we known each other? And uh, you haven't always been a public prosecutor, isn't that so? Uh, objection. Uh, this is not a clear question. Your Honor, the only issue here is a violation of a court order from the year 19... Mr. Hills, you are obligated to reply in your... Capacity as a witness. Kindly be more specific in your questioning. Thank you, Your Honor. And isn't it true that about ten years ago you were not working against me but for me? Mr. Hills, do you remember when we set up the Institute together? I'm not going to have anybody persecuted in my courtroom. No matter which government authority is behind all this, this is an American court, and here everybody is treated equally. If I found there was any bias on your part, I'll have to start the trial all over again. This is ridiculous. That all happened 10 years ago. Mr. Klein, why did the FDA choose Mr. Hills to prosecute this case? The FDA has its own reasons, and the facts speak for themselves. We need to get this case closed as soon as possible. You are making good progress with my work. But your work has just been declared worthless. You need a lawyer. My last lawyer is now sitting opposite, prosecuting me. The jury is responding with alienation because your arguments are too spontaneous and emotional, which make you seem suspicious. If you want to know whether somebody is lying and when, Observe the changes in his voice, gestures, and breathing. And now, may I ask you to leave me alone with my daughter?
You want it this way. But I can't stand watching you destroy everything around you with your obstinacy. You have a head made of iron. Please, have a seat, Dr. Hamilton. I would like you to do a psychiatric examination on Dr. Reich. Is there anything else, Your Honor? I want to establish whether or not he was in uh, full possession of his faculties at the time of the offense. Which means, if he were not, he could not be held responsible for his actions. Of course. And make sure he realizes that without an attorney, he's simply digging his own grave. All the world is a stage, and all the men and women merely players. But outside is the meadow, the heaven of nature under brilliant stars. Tall grass is moving in soft wind. The meadow has no root in the theater of man, and we have become strangers to it. Prisoner Reich, you have a visitor. A moment. I'll finish writing this. The judge has ordered a psychiatric examination. Have you done this before? Examine the colleague? I imagine it's not that easy. Would you like something to drink? No. Yeah. Are they taking good care of you? Do you have everything you need? We can begin with the examination. Why do you think you're here? I don't think. I know. And I even know why you are here. Yeah? Can you enlighten me? I hope to do so. Let's start again. Were you aware that by renting out these, uh, boxes, you were violating the injunction against you? They are not boxes. They are organ accumulators. This organ, what is it exactly? I read in the files that you met with Einstein some years ago. What was his view? Who cares about Einstein? Your opinion is important in my case. My opinion is not important. But it is. All your fears, desires and wishes affect everything. And of course this investigation. <laughs> Do you think you don't apply? Dr. Reich, I am only interested in your point of view right now, not mine. And I already know what the other people think. And if you don't give me or yourself the chance... Are you fooling the trial? What chance do I have? What right do they have to deprive me of my work? Would you please bring us an ashtray? Argon treatment charges the red blood cells that makes the mice's blood more resistant to destruction. You mentioned the phenomenon of increased temperature. Where else do we see this phenomenon? Sunbathing? You joker. 
Viva? Yes, very good. A well-known but as yet unexplained phenomenon. Thanks to our analysis of living blood samples, we have the opportunity to establish the presence of cancerous cells earlier than any other means of examination. Forgive me, but as a doctor, I don't understand a great deal about the processes of physics. Now, what exactly is the effect of the accumulator? Basic function is to revive the natural plasmatic pulsation. Physics, chemistry, medicine can't be conceived in separation. Everything interacts and is dependent on each other. Well, I guess that, that could be the problem. I mean, as far as I know, ever since Descartes, we have always thought of and uh, researched into spirit and matter separately. For the French Revolution, it was a triumph to separate the church from worldly things. But for research into life, it is a disaster. We have to go back to the ancient Greeks to study their holistic image of the world. Dante Ray. Everything flows. Thank you. My dear Hills, Hills have made the sour crown especially for you. Sorry about the mess, but with the laboratory and the medical center, we are run off our feet. I hear you're gonna meet Einstein. Yes, next week. He's extremely interested in the temperature increase inside the accumulator. We have to provide him with some concrete evidence. Would you like to accompany me? That would be a great honor. How are patent applications going, Jens? I've completed most of them. Look, I just hope that your work doesn't get dismissed as the delusions of a charlatan. I mean, after all, we're dealing with nothing less than the origins of life here. So, until you can provide proof for your discoveries. You see, Dr. Reich, it's pretty obvious that most of them don't even listen to you. Let alone believe in what you're saying. But agronomy isn't a question of belief. It's all about observation and experience. Well, these days, cancer is a disease that is scaring everybody. So if you really do, uh, develop a method of treatment. Hills, look, our wounds, our traumas, are like huge rocks on the bottom of a deep river valley, while the life, life, are the boats which are floating down the river. When the water level is low, life has to take evasive action, perform complicated maneuvers, choose routes which are less treacherous. But when the water level, the energy, is high, life can pick up speed Cancer is probably nothing more than the energy of life in a process of struggling against restrictions and oppression. Einstein could actually be very helpful. Einstein said, if it's possible to gather evidence of what happens in the accumulator, the, the heat increase without energy input, it would be a bomb for physics. Let's hope that he's not too busy with his own bomb. Or with his mistake of doing anything to stop it being built. Well, thank you very much for a delicious meal. I think I'll go through the rest of my work. Good. Pardon me. Doctor? Please, can you take a look at this? Samples? That's the sixth sample I've taken from C23. So you survived the cancer that killed the rest of your family? Hmm? Don't you think Hills just cares about his career? And not about our research. Well, I mean, he's a lawyer. What do you expect? He's just doing his job. And you?
You are my choice. Still happy? I am happy when you are happy. Mm. You are nervous about Einstein? How long have I wished for a partner like you? I know your wishes. The payment for the new laboratory equipment. <laughs> yes, the next delivery of mice. Yeah. Did you see that the last delivery had babies? Let's go to a party sometime. What would someone like me do at a party? Dance. We could dance here. Mm -hmm. Hey! Huh? Where's the manager in this place? Huh? Where is it? Where's the manager? I wanna know who cracked my pants! No, Kevin! I wanna know! Thomas! Who cracked Thomas. my pants? Thomas, relax! Well, Paul, he is your patient. But don't risk too much. In cases like this, surgery is the only option. But he isn't even 18 yet. Let's give him another chance. Give him another chance? Or you? No reason to be nervous. Would you like to tell me your name? It's written on that piece of paper. But I'm asking if you would like to tell me. It's Thomas W. Hartford. Thomas? Good. Would you like to just lie down and breathe with me a little? I know at your age it might seem strange, but let's give it a try. Okay? Yeah. Do you want to know how crazy I am? Why do I have to lie down? Who knows who is crazy? Lie down. And breathe. Look, can't you just give me some pills so everybody can just relax? Breathe. Open your throat. Don't try to force anything. Inhale. Exhale. I can't, it hurts. Now then, we are on the right path. Don't be afraid. People can die of fear. Fear of the truth. Fear of life. Carry on breathing. The brother's here! The brother's up here! I hate you! Breathe more deeply. Let all your rage come out. But don't stop breathing. Let him out your grief. Stop that at once. You're killing my son. Get back. Thomas Sr., come and help me. Oh, my God. You must be out of your mind. What kind of a crack are you? You should be arrested, you, you. Oh boy. Uh, I'm sorry. It, it was a mistake to bring the parents along. But that is the law. Your patient isn't schizophrenic, just extremely neurotic, closed and short of breath. I don't think I can reconcile the two things for much longer. My work with you, 
You might work in the hospital. You must learn to make a way for yourself even when the conditions are collapsing. And what is going to save me from collapsing myself? Please don't get up. I'm Dr. Barkman, Dr. Einstein's assistant in theoretical physics. I've studied your ideas and unfortunately I have to tell you that you are mistaken. Your accumulator has no physical effect. And as for this energy, what do you call it? Anyway, it cannot be proven at all. Any success in treatment may be purely coincidental, nothing more. Physics is an exact science compared to psychoanalysis. If you understand what I mean. Is that Einstein's opinion too? emotional degeneration a plaque, which would be simple enough for the translator to understand, but he has problems with the term armoring. There is no medical term like this in the English language. I know because I discovered it. Tell him he should translate it like I used it in German. Panzerung, armoring. Aber Wilhelm, du, du schadest dir vermutlich mit so erfundenen Begriffen. Ich meine, gerade jetzt nach Einsteins Ablehnung. Ja, Ilse. To stop the German. Armoring is the perfect term. Isn't it beautiful up here? We should build the lab right over there. The big windows. Where we can use sunlight all day. But you can't afford it. You must. What conclusions did you draw? To carry on, what else? Einstein supported the construction of the atom bomb. This isn't my mission. My belief is that you can't dissolve the fear in the world with weapons of mass destruction. So you didn't try again? No. I continued without his blessing. We were entering the atomic era where fear is the most effective means of manipulating the masses. It was a race for world dominance at any cost, by any means. Gentlemen, I am neither a politician nor a soldier. I am a scientist, but I do understand how delicate the situation is. Thank you for your understanding. Now, please get to the point. I have been working with schizophrenic patients for a number of years, and I have established that deleting the memory also causes the symptoms to disappear. Deleting memory? Schizophrenic? What are you talking about? I'm talking about a treatment that would turn your prisoners of war into like-minded allies. With regard to your own people, I'm talking about a treatment that would liberate them from erroneous ways of thinking. Kindly continue. The race to conquer the human brain, as well as the nuclear race, will determine our future. It looks as though the communists have already made a start. If we want to be fast and efficient, 
We have to learn from our enemies and forget morality and ethics. And as long as we continue to stir up fears of the Red Menace, we'll have the population on our side. I assume the CIA already has the green light from Washington for this research project? We have found a Canadian university hospital where we could start the program outside the U.S. Here in Canada? Gentlemen, in my view, intervening in the processes of the human brain does not contravene the Hippocratic Oath. No life in it here. Let's get that old 40 or something to drink. <laughs> and you too. Well, I insist. Sally! Fetch a blueberry brandy! Sally, this is our neighbor, Mr. Reich. This is Murphy. He's a doctor, and he invents all sorts of stuff, <laughs> right? She can't have kids. Sally, why don't you get our guests something to eat? Thanks, I'm fine. This brandy is really special. Such a fine taste, but still mild. Doesn't compare to what it was years ago. Fruit's just too dried up these days. Sally, go fetch a bottle for the doctor. As a doctor, of course, and only if it doesn't bother you. What reason have you been given for your infertility? <laughs> what do you mean? It's God's will whether we multiply or if our seed doesn't bear fruit. Of course, life really is a gift from God. Years ago, my wife had a miscarriage. There were all sorts of complications, and that was it. Back in my country, I worked with many couples who wanted children, but had given up hope of having any. You're not one of those voodoo guys, are you, Doc? <laughs> I regard people as part of nature, just like the way you think about the fertility of soil. It's the work that kills us. I know you work hard, which is another reason why you should take care of yourselves. Come with me. Try to sit inside for half an hour a day. You should both come and see me sometime in the next couple of weeks, and we can take a closer look at God's plan. Thanks for the brandy. <laughs>
6.5. I didn't know your father was so famous. If those boxes are really as hard as it says here, where do I sign up? Anything else you want to tell me? Nah. Really, I, I don't know anything. Talk of the town? Look, I don't know. You know, they keep to themselves. What have you heard I mean, about these boxes? I know that Skinny Crawford Are you free? Some... Yeah. Look, I don't know anything, all right? Uh, go down to Becky's on the waterfront. They'll be able to help you. So, where can I take you? I'm guessing you got lost somewhere. I want to go to Argonon. Dr. Willem Rice place? Oh, sure. That's a coincidence. That guy was just asking about Dr. Wright. one of them communists, are you? What you mean? Eh, nothing. Just talk. You seem like a decent lady. Well, appearances can be deceptive, you know. So what do they say about the commie, Doctor? Okay. We turn off up here. Bang. Come on, tell me. For my own protection. Seems like they're doing research into who knows what. I'm telling you, those vermin from the war in Europe, why do we have to let them into the country for God's sake? Okay, here we are. As far as I go, that'll be a dollar fifty. By the way, I'm one of those vermin who unfortunately survived the mass murder. Keep the rest. Good day to you. His nickname's Dr. Frankenstein. You bear that line. In our life in society, we are taught to feel this. The reasons are a larger issue we'll get to later. But the result is, we slowly develop blocks. We limit our feelings to remain safe. We become afraid to feel deeply either sorrow or great pleasure. Soon we are armored. But the problem is, the organism must expand and contract in continuous pulsation. Like a... Uh, jellyfish. Like a jellyfish. When we try to block it, we create disease. Father. Geworden. 
Lass dich umarmen. Du bist in Amerika, seit wann? Actually, I emigrated here with mother. Ten years ago. And you haven't been in touch with me before now? Oh, well, the neighbors have come for a consultation. Ilse, that's my daughter, Eva. Oh, hello. <laughs> Please show her everything. Forgive me, my patients are waiting. We had a dog just like that when I was a kid. Your father loves Winston. He's the best watchdog we ever had. I wonder how long they let him stay alive. Well, we certainly don't have the friendliest of neighbors. I had the pleasure of hearing some stories from the taxi driver already. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Castle Frankenstein, yeah? It's beautiful here. Your father has fulfilled his dream of studying life as close to nature as possible. Emotions are physiological correspondence that can be measured in energetic terms. Look at this. This is a kiss. An important scientific basis for research into the discovery of the energy of life. Or gone. Have you heard about that? No. Excuse me, sorry to interrupt, but these samples have to be evaluated. Of course, Aurora. May I introduce Dr. Reich's daughter, Eva? Hello. Hello. Oh. oh, it must be breathtaking to have such a fantastic father. Breathtaking, you said it. Why don't you show her the rest of the lab? Oh, of course. Thank you. Yes, Oregon. Your father uses the term Oregon for the energy which was known to the Chinese thousands of years ago as Qi. The point being that those people didn't need any proof of its effect. May I ask what you do? I studied medicine. Oh, I see. Well, Dr. Rai fulfills his dream here in this beautiful countryside of studying life. As close to nature as possible. What are those boxes? Could I see one? Yeah, sure. Here. How do they work? Well, the organ research is rooted in intense self-observation. So, why don't you gather your own impressions first? What do I do now? Do what many people find the most difficult. Nothing. At first I thought that box couldn't do any good. But then as the days went by, she got more and more lively and then this thing... Go on, Sally, you tell him. Well, after the third or fourth time in the accumulator, I felt a stabbing pain in my belly, and I had to go to the can, and that came out. I think it was high time you got rid of that uninvited guest. Yes. How are you feeling now? I'm beginning to get my strength back. Doctor, how does it work? The accumulator activates the body's power to heal itself, so it can then get rid of alien organisms. You're healing yourself so to speak. I think we should talk about your miscarriage again. It still seems to bother you. Well, that was years ago. We stopped thinking about it. Mr. Murphy, would you leave me to talk to your wife alone for a moment? Sometimes it's easier when you only have to speak for yourself. Well, you're the doctor. I'll wait outside. Uh, by the way, I thought those boxes of yours were crazy. It looks like I was dead wrong. Mrs. Murphy, exactly when did you lose your unborn child? Six years ago, but we never called it an unborn child. I think even as an embryo, it was a human life. Could hear and feel. And God knows what else. Yeah, well, we've been trying to have a baby for years, and we'd already chosen a name in case it was a boy. I see. You have a name as well? Yes. It was to be called after my father. He died when I was little, and 
and the child also died. Permit me to ask whether you love your husband. Well, we've been through some hard times. But yes. I only ask because love is important for having a child together. So you started in record time, just like your father. After immigrating, I wanted to get on as quickly as possible. What did you think of the accumulator? Well, it makes you damn hungry. Your father even corresponded with Einstein about his research into organ energy before the end of the war. But the time didn't seem right. Timing was always difficult for my father. It always is for a man ahead of his time. Now we're in the Einstein age. A nuclear world war is hanging over our heads like a sword of Democles. Don't be too pessimistic, Paul. Nuclear energy is great danger. But we have to accept that it also may have good possibilities. You weren't always so open to acceptance. There are times when acceptance is necessary, especially when there is no way out. But in your past? Is that why you are here? To condemn me for my past? Entschuldige, Eva. Wie war es im Akkumulator? Du hast keine Ahnung, was es heißt, wenn man dir seit deiner Kindheit sagt, dass dein Vater ein schlechter Mensch ist. Wenn dir der Kontakt verboten wird, weil... Weil ich verrückt geworden bin. Kannst du es ruhig sagen. Ich bin gekommen, um mir mein eigenes Bild zu machen. Eva, I really am delighted that you are here. I would like to show you something. Come with me. This room is lined with metal. With this one huge accumulator. I discovered sexual desire is just an expression of a much more fundamental energy. Would you put the light on? I'm afraid of knocking something over. Your eyes just have to get used to the dark. You will be able to see fine in a minute. I think I can hear my own bodily organs. What's that? A vacuum tube. After charging it for two months, we discovered this light has appeared. It may be proof for the existence of organ. Or perhaps it's possible that the vacuum isn't actually empty. An energy which fills everything, maybe even outer space. It seems so alive. How are you doing? Pretty well, I think. He's beginning to trust me. Have you found out any more about his sex box? His assumption is that most people suffer from sexual blockage. So the first reaction in the accumulator is often of a sexual nature. And? How was it for you? Many of his patients report the amazing improvement in their health by using the accumulators. He has even had success with cancer patients. And? But you could run your own tests and prove that the accumulators have no effect at all. What exactly do you mean? By making sure they are only used for a very short 
period on each occasion. I have to get out of here. The dog always stays close to him. What are you doing here all by yourself? Just wanted to have some fresh air. Fresh cigarette there? You like trees too? Yeah. They are true marvels of nature. Winston. 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 Come here. I love that grounded feeling. <coughs> I smoke too much to tell you the truth. Yes, yes, yes. That happens quickly. But it shouldn't replace breathing. You have difficulty breathing because you don't feel at ease in here. No? Dr. Reich, I'm here to establish your state of mind, not the other way around. Can we be clear about that? You would like something to be clear? Too much control, too much rigidity makes you sick. Dr. Reich, I would like to understand you. Then read my books if you manage to find any which haven't yet been burned by your government, uh, not burned, confiscated. Back in Europe, they were burned, but not because of my research, because I'm a Jew. Here I'm a communist, of course. They make me burn my own books by myself. <laughs> this is a matter of science. <laughs> science. Conventional science does research on dead tissue, on dead blood samples, a necrophiliac society. I, on the other hand, work with living blood samples. I ask you now, who has a better insight into the processes of life? Huh? Who is insane here? Wilhelm Reich or society? If your comfortable life means anything to you, you ought to know. Hello, Thomas. How are you today? You can look at yourself in the mirror, Thomas. Do you know what day it is today? What is the name of the street where you go to school? You are going to school these days, aren't you? All these questions are hard work. Would you like to go back to sleep? After only 12 weeks of induced deep sleep coma and just a few sessions of shock treatment, this patient has almost reverted to childhood. Are you going to tell me why I should report this as a great success? It shows that we are on the right path. While traditional psychoanalysis removes one layer at a time, with my treatment we drill straight through to the innermost core of the patient. And then, doctor? What do you hope to find in the innermost core? How did Aristotle put it? A blank slate. An empty space upon which nothing has yet been written. A tabula rasa. Soon we begin phase two. Phase two? Psychic driving. Depatterning and reprogramming. Starting with a clean slate. That's what you've been waiting for, isn't it? I hope you can follow my explanations and kindly request two milligrams of radium for these urgent experiments. And I thank the Atomic Energy Commission for cooperating. My hope is to neutralize the negative impact of radioactivity.
Morning, Peps. Did you sleep well? What do you think of your sister? Hmm? I saw her down at the lake. She's a good swimmer. Yes. When she was your age, we often used to go swimming in the lakes back in Austria. There is no need for you to be jealous. We will have a lot of fun together. And now you'd better be going. Or the school bus will go without you. Then I'll run after it. Yes, I know. You are a super runner. One, two, three. Off you go. What? Hey. Good morning. Good morning, Eva. Did you hear that noise? Like a muffled explosion? Or... Yes, they are doing tests around here, too. Who is testing what? The military, the government. God knows what. Uh, it's a shame that Einstein didn't support you. If you say so. I think he gave up a long time ago. What makes you say that? Something I read in the letter he wrote to Freud. I remember their correspondence. But you were a child at the time. What did Einstein write? He was wondering whether mankind could be saved without wars. And what did Super Freud reply? That there's no hope. That mankind is fundamentally trapped between love and hatred. Their pessimism started early. Yes. How did you get hold of these letters? Well, you know, my mother and Anna Freud are still friends. I understand. Eva, I think you should get this Anna Freud out of your mind. You should clarify what side you are on. So now you expect me to break off all contact with my previous life? Simply because you had to do so in your past? I don't think he's ever gotten over his role with Freud. While he holds him in high regard, he thinks everyone else is trying to destroy him. Especially this Anna Freud. She even blackened his reputation here in America. I know, but I can't be forced to take sides again. So it is, after all, Freud's rejection. I gave up traditional psychoanalysis a long time ago because I don't believe that billions of neurotics can be healed that way. Therapy is helpless when faced with such numbers. Goodbye to you now. The organ functionalism exists outside this theater. It is rooted in the meadow. The search for one's purpose in life is only a question for the man on stage. While in nature, life's purpose is simply perceived as a connectedness. You're Dr. Reich's former assistant, aren't you? That's right. I'm Dr. Hamilton, the forensic psychiatrist. What can I do for you? 
Dr. Wright refuses to let me examine. I would like to help, but... Eva, this is Dr. Hamilton. He's here to assess your father. That's right. Do you know what caused the accident with the radium? Is this part of your assessment? I understand your suspicion, Ms. Wright, but believe me, I'm not even permitted to speak with you. Then why are you talking to us, Dr. Hamilton? On the surface, people wear an artificial mask of self-control and forced insincere politeness. This mask serves to conceal the second layer. Thank you. The Freudian subconscious, or sadism, envy, perversion, etc., are restrained. The second layer is the artificial product of a culture of sexual denial. And generally, people are only unaware of it consciously as a yawning inner emptiness. Dr. Hamilton? Hi, I'm Peter Hills. I'm the U.S. Attorney for the District of Maine. I'll be prosecuting for the FDA in the Wilhelm Reich trial. Cigarette? No, thank you. Dr. Reich is a fascinating case, isn't he? You know? I mean... <laughs> From the pathological perspective, I would like to see him one more time. Mm. Yeah, well, he doesn't want to talk to you anymore. That may be. But I haven't finished compiling my report. Well, Dr. Hamilton, uh, the man is clearly cuckoo. Isn't that enough to go on? I don't want to exclude any possibility, including your bias. Okay, you know, I could send you a dozen maniacs, all of whom think they've been unjustly accused because of some conspiracy theory or other. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make them better people. Well, I hope to close the case soon. But could I, could I just read something to you for just a minute? What is it? It's just, it's some very informative letters. The American Psychoanalytic Association would like to thank the FDA for its endeavors against Wilhelm Reich. His theories and practices are completely alien to our work, but unfortunately, we have not been able to control or prohibit them. The Atomic Energy Commission would like to express its gratitude for such successful cooperation and to reiterate explicitly how important it was to remove Reich from circulation. Individuals such as him represent thorns in the side of American society. Ms. Reich. Is this a coincidence? I followed you from the FDA building. Hills got the court ruling he wanted. How's that possible? Where did you get that book? From their archive. Of course, they have a copy, even though they ordered his books to be destroyed. The important question is, what else can they do to fight my father? What is it? His character analysis? It's pretty hard in our culture. The biological system of the human species has been ruined for ages. The will of the baby is broken. This damage is done immediately before and after birth. And it lays the foundation for everything which comes afterwards. Then the child withdraws, the child resigns with a huge no. The no, the defiance, the lack of will, the lack of opinions. People are dull, dead, uninterested. And then they develop pseudo-contacts, as that's friends. And then they become the henchmen of systems which destroy human dignity, rotting under the auspices of duty and order. But why did he start experimenting with the radium? They already started the radium experiment and the accumulator when I returned to Organon. Your father went to the Atomic Energy Commission to submit his report. To the Atomic Energy Commission? What report? He says the atomic tests being conducted all over the country are such an incredible threat to mankind and nature that we can't even imagine today how much we could destroy in that way. His premise is that ongoing organ treatment of the radium can halt and neutralize the destruction of the radium atoms. You are as flesh and blood. I can't do it anymore. 
Det er det så. Don't get me wrong. I still believe in your father. But I'm afraid I'm starting to hate him. For what I once admired in him. How can anyone live by the side of a martyr? The bank is threatening to block our account and he's dreaming of saving the world. You need a rest. I can't. I have night shift tonight. What has to be done? unusual that she doesn't react to the medicine. What exactly was the accident? We are working with small portions of radium and it seems she can't endure it. I never heard of radium doing any harm. Maybe I should call my watchmaker. You see, people are ignorant about how harmful radiation really is. That includes us? Who, Eva? I should have taken better care. Perhaps all of us. I love you, Wilhelm, but I have to leave you. And I'll take Peter with me. You love and respect your parents and your country. You are proud to be an American. You are willing to do everything in your power to preserve our fundamental values. You love and respect your parents and your country. <laughs> it appears then that the regressive state persists for longer than we expected. Stop all medication for the moment. Excuse me. Doctor, but I'm not sure the patient can take that. I'll take responsibility. Dr. Cameron, um, Agent Klein, FDA, you as the president of the American Psychiatric Association might be able to help me with your colleague, Dr. Reich. Dr. Reich? Oh, he was never a member of our association, no. I only have a, a fleeting knowledge of his absurd theories. Um, but wouldn't it be logical to say these theories represent a danger to the moral fiber of American society? What is hereby stated as follows. The energy of life called organ does not exist. And Dr. Rice's accumulator has been judged to be useless. All dealings with these objects are forbidden.
so he had a stroke. That's what the doctor said. But he believed that he got an electric shock from the overcharged pipes. I brought him to Paul's cabin nearby to take care of him. Father, you should stay lying down. The doctors say you must rest. You're quite possibly the most difficult father anybody could imagine. But also the most interesting. I found this on the boat, too. A court order which forbids you from... I know, I know. How could I have explained my organ energy to those people? They even denied my request for a panel of scientific experts. But why didn't you at least turn up for the hearing? Because I have no time for such games. I have to gather my thoughts and put my ideas down on paper. Did you see the dark glance over Organon? My father was obsessed with the idea of dispelling the unusual radiation at Organon. You're talking about deadly organ radiation, right, Dor? Dor, yes. At first he could only go back for short times, but soon he became accustomed to the atmosphere and began to develop the Cloudbuster. Yes, I uh, hoped you'd explain that. I haven't been able to find anything about it in my files. Dr. Reich? He commissioned to build his device after his drawings. First, none of us had any idea what he was up to. What is this? <laughs> I'm going to call it the Cloudbuster. <laughs> there hasn't been any sun for weeks. Just clouds. You mean the hole in the clouds is related to the pipes? Yes, 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 yes. Evidently, it's important that the pipe is connected to water during the procedure. Paul, what's the matter? He thinks it's all over. Out of that court order. Come on. What harm can that court do? Hello. Where have you been? At Organon. And I'm just about to return. Is there anything to eat? I'll cook something for us soon. Father, please don't go there alone. I shall only go there alone. Don't worry, I'll be careful. You know what? I suspect we are not the only ones to have had a radioactive incident. What makes you think that? I was talking to Murphy, the farmer. They have been suffering from a drought for some days. And when did it start? Exactly when the government began the tests in our region. By the way, his wife Sally is pregnant. <laughs> I have to know all that wind develops. Father, please. It's bad enough for them to boycott you as a doctor. Do we care what other people are saying? Yes, it matters. Never. I may be the daughter of an eccentric, but I don't want to watch you isolating yourself further. Please thank Paul for letting me stay here. I have to go. We haven't heard from you for a long time. What do you know about this machine? You wrote to me about it. But I'm afraid you have to put someone else in his case. I started biology. I have no idea what he's doing there. You're a little immigrant bitch, which makes you exactly the right person for this. Find out more about this machine. 
He seems to have come up with something dangerous there. And find out what conclusions he drew from the radium experiment. Excuse me, who are you? The Atomic Energy Commission is now also interested in Dr. Reich. Well, you tell them in King Judah that everything being in God's hands, it cannot be other than good. I'm afraid it's just pasta. That fits well. Chianti. Una notte italiana. Don't you feel it? I mean in the air. I thought you were going to answer my question. Apparently everything is affected. The countryside, the animal, the air. At the moment, I'm interested in the betrayal of Christ. Why are you here? There's nobody here. Excuse me, I feel a little bit dizzy. <clears throat> I came because the world is not treating you justly. Perhaps I should give up everything. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Sometimes that phenomenon is even visible in the sky here. Have you ever wondered what these lights really are? Cosmic discharge of orgon energy. <laughs> or an atmospheric orgasm. It's getting late. Third, 1954. I'm sitting here at Organon all by myself. Everybody has left after the accident. The only witness here is this recording apparatus. After all my efforts over decades in Organ energy research, all the time, money and blood, there is not a single soul who would understand what's really going on here. Are you Dr. Reich? You come unannounced. Who are you? FDA, we have a warrant. We don't need to give you any notice. Among civilized people, it would be automatic to do so. But perhaps one can't expect such behavior today. Dr. Reich, we've come to check if you're still using the accumulators. Of course I am using them. You will not stop my research. According to this injunction, we have to insist that you put the accumulators out of action. I thought the order said they're useless anyway. It says they aren't allowed to exist at all. We're only 
only authorized to monitor the situation. I must request to destroy the devices yourself. You want it? Dr. Reich, we're just doing our duty. Your duty? Your goddamn duty? What I don't understand is why your father risked all to experiment with the weather. I mean, he was trying to make it rain. The farmers believed in him. He did make it rain and he saved their harvest. Dr. Hamilton, isn't it true that we only see what we believe in right up until the moment where we lose control in the face of threat and chaos? And suddenly, are able to see something new. Let's go to the desert. I've never been to this part of our country before. Aren't you worried about the nuclear test area? You mean because of the contaminated air? No, I mean because of our experiments. Who says we won't trigger a similar effect as an Argonaut? We weren't so lucky. Who needs luck when we have Reich on our side? Please, Paul. Let's try to make sure it doesn't end up badly this time. I'm here because I want to help him. But even more than that, because I believe he needs to be looked after. And you must help me. Buddy, you were uh, hunting for UFOs with your granddaddy? How did you know? But please don't tell anyone, or the whole journey will be wasted.
late, Father. Back home you made it rain. There's a possible relationship between the charged pipes and, <laughs> and water. I understand how the pipes could draw or create water within the clouds. But here we're in the desert. There's no water. What do you expect here? I don't know. You don't know? No. I don't know. If I don't know doesn't mean necessarily that I have no idea. I want to stay open, to observe the development. Thank you for coming. You must know why I did. I know how much you love my father. <sighs> it's not only your father. It's okay. I know you love him more than me. I can accept it. Oh, your love is all about acceptance. Except the unexpected. <laughs> Where is your sister? I know. You don't know? You don't know doesn't mean necessarily that you have no idea. I thought you would be asleep by now. I may have had a stroke, but I'm still here. <laughs> and we missed you. Don't get too attached. Peter, I promised your mother I would take you back. Please, Pops. I want to stay with you. We'll both go on an expedition again soon. I promise. <laughs> That's a deal? Yeah. <laughs> Babs? So this is it. Wow. Will you tell me how it works? Do we have enough time? Of course. That's why I'm here. Sometimes I have the feeling I'm standing in a courtroom and everything I have lived for is completely invalid. The future will show who was right and who wasn't. The future is when? Tomorrow? In a ten years? In a thousand? I'm so curious where all this is heading.
Game of hide and seek is over, Dr. Reich. I have a warrant for your arrest on the charge of disobeying a court order. We have to take you with us. talk to you about. You have to put an end to this farce. I described Dr. Reich as mentally abnormal, but not because I believe that he represents... Well, then why? Just between the two of us. Surely he asked for my report because he believed he's innocent. A scapegoat, maybe. I don't believe Dr. Reich is innocent. I just don't think he's a criminal. I thought judges aim to make clear verdicts. What is it you want? This case stinks to high heaven. Dr. Hamilton, why do you think you find me here on the golf course and not in court? I imagine you're enjoying a well arrest, sir. Exactly. As long a rest as God wants. You see, I've been taken off the right case and retired. But that's exactly what I mean. Does it not seem strange to you that coincidences like this keep happening? No, I requested early retirement five years ago to take a look after my sick wife. Unfortunately, she died. Two months ago. I'm sorry. Maybe sometimes we have to accept coincidences as fate. So, Dr. Hamilton, do you have anything to add to your report? Only that I have tried to explain that Dr. Reich is not a simple lunatic, although he has acted in an irrational manner. I believe he suffers from schizophrenia and megalomania. So I think he cannot be held responsible for disobeying a court order. Hmm. I think that Dr. Hamilton has spent a great deal of time in an attempt to perform his mission conscientiously. Perhaps too long. Because it appears to me that he is no longer evaluating objectively. And for me, it's quite clear. There is no discrepancy between Dr. Reich's statements and his behavior. None at all. In that case, I declare this hearing closed. Dr. Wilhelm Reich will be held entirely responsible for his actions. The trial may continue without delay. But why? Listen, my job is to make an evaluation. That's all. Don't you make life more difficult than it already is? But the prosecution is wrong, and so are you. Dr. Reich does not respect our laws. My dear colleague, we have to stop the ticking time bomb before it explodes. But what if he's on to something? Better that you forget all this hocus pocus. You watch your back. Anything else could be risky for you, too. On my worst days, I wonder what is the point of trying to heal the sick when they are damaged from the very beginning. An endless cycle that begins in childhood. This has gone on for thousands of years, through the births and deaths of civilizations. But the ocean of cosmic energy, or gone energy, follows its own course, whether we are conscious or not. 
sick or in health. Or even if mankind doesn't exist at all. What are you writing there? Who wants to know? You appear to be a suspicious person. Give me one reason why I shouldn't be. Read your own books. You yourself dream of unarmored perceptions of children who... Are not yet born today. Unfortunately. From a medical standpoint, that could be considered a form of insanity. I am Dr. Cameron. Chairman of the American Psychiatric Association. I know. I always rejected your applications to join our association. Why didn't you keep fighting for it? Because you are a bunch of idiots. Leave me alone now. I want to continue with this. You should have your fair trial. left the scene and the boys just standing there alone looking at the shiny red tractor him and his daddy used to sit inside and circle the blue fields and grease the night as if someone had spread butter on all the fine points of the stars cause when he looked up they started to slip and then he put his head in the crooks of his arms and he started to such a naked joy that the sun burned around his lids and his eyes were like two suns white lids white opal seeing everything just a little bit too clearly and looked around and there was no black ship in sight no black funeral cars nothing except for him the raven fell on his knees looked up and cried out